New York is not for everyone. It really isn't. It's muddy and not muddy, muggy, humid. There's a lot of moisture in the water, so even when the temperature isn't that cold, it feels a lot worse. It's a lot more difficult to breathe in an NYC environment. I had a teacher that was from Alaska, and she said, even being negative 30 degrees in Alaska isn't as bad as maybe being 50 degrees in NYC, because in some parts, it's dry. Coldness just means the atoms in the air are moving as quickly. They're slower. And I see that as kind of being a balancing act. What do we do when we start getting cold? We start shivering. We start doing these short bursted quick movements. And Dr. Jason J. Campbell would probably call that ghetto philosophy. I'm just calling it what it is. NYC weather sucks, but. I, for one, enjoy the constant snowstorms. I like the winter wonderland environments. Yet for commuters, it's not a luxury. Because NYC has a terrible transportation system. For a Floridian, a Floridian would disagree. Because you miss a bus in Florida, you wait another 30 minutes. you got to wait for that. Here, you miss a bus, you can always wait five, ten minutes if it's a really bad moment, maybe even twenty if it's terrible, but it's a lot more frequent. And with that being said, with that being said, with that being said, gotta love my filler words. Is everyone as annoyed as I am? <clears throat> I have it in my writing and in my speeches, same like transital statements that mean absolutely nothing. What we're dealing with is the fact that buses will not move, that train tracks will be damaged by the snow so that you can't ride over them, you know, train lines are canceled. Like, the 7 train is not going to go through this direction. You can use the bus instead. And the bus is stuck in traffic, so it's not going to move. It's just going to stay there. Maybe drive a budge an inch every, like, hour. This is not the environment for NYC. The infrastructure is poor. It's not designed to be anything it wants to be. I think NYC should probably go for a China communist-like infrastructure instead of being this communitarian Brahmin thing or this housing project black, like a <laughs> non-hierarchical thing. It needs something to control and centralized so that we can like push these people get these people moving where they need to go and not not cause these terrible infrastructure problems and the transportation is a big part of that but I'm enjoying the fact that people are tearing Bill de Blasio a new one because I don't like Bill de Blasio to me he sort of symbolizes a new social justice warrior mayor for NYC and his policies and the fact that he's going up against the evil reactionary NYC mayors of the 90s the 2000s and just up to until 2013 that's what he represents and people don't like it. I won't lie, I detest Bloomberg. Not for 
the libertarian reasons like he wants to do a lot of crap with the big gulps who cares I mean a lot of his policies seemed way too Jewy way too merchant and way too focused on making NYC into more of the impotent machine that it is and it's not a very healthy machine isn't it yeah here we are no snow day nothing to sort of better plan for the future it's just people who are on their commutes have to go to work and high schoolers, college students, the CUNY system is really messed up here uh, middle schoolers, even elementary tykes have to go to school they're not getting cancelled and there's a snowstorm right now, this is the third or fourth time in a row that this stuff has happened to top that all off they're gonna have to deal with the slush in a few days cause right now it's a winter wonderland I'm let, let me open a window let's see then because I can't take this out the recharger I have to improvise See this right now? This right now is snow. This is nice. Like I, oh, I got some on my sheets. I got some on my laptop. This is fun. This is pleasant. If a lot of it attacks you all at once, like a Mexican gangbang, you won't like it, especially with the fact that the wind is kind of picking up right now. But this is pleasant if you're not a commuter. Hmm, where do I put this? But in a few days, in a few days, all that snow. All this bullshit right here is gonna become slush. No one's gonna like it. <laughs> no one's gonna want it anywhere on the floor that they're standing on. And you know, it's not 100% hard floor. You kind of have to assume like a guarded stance when you're standing on that bullshit. Otherwise, you're gonna be moving like Bambi at the beginning of the movie. It's not a good position. And at the end of the day, this hurts the commuters, and this helps guys like me, because I want to get some money. I want to shovel some snow for these old ladies. You know what I'm about to do right now? I want to go up to the suburbs and wait for some of them old ladies to pick me up and say, Oh, get the snow out of my yard right now. I'll pay you. And because I'm going to do it with my loan, I'm going to be paid extra cash, and I might get some granny pussy. It happened to me once, not the granny pussy part, but the shoveling snow and getting money part last year, and I feel like I want to do this right now. I'm going to be here for a while because I don't have the keys back to this place since I lost it in the summer, but <laughs> that sounds totally fun, and I want some Orangina cash right now. I want some Yoohoo money. I want some Little Debbie snack money. <sighs> Good luck, guys. I'm not really going to do it.